Hey guys, hope all is well. Today I'm at a residential building which has Mitsubishi cassette units in all of the ceilings. And we've been here um, twice already for the same issue. It's going off on P5, which is usually something with the condensate pump. The condensate pump was replaced, I believe, a week ago, and they're getting the same code now. So I want to go through the system and see if we can get the real problem um, of what's going on. So let me walk inside and show you what's going on. Go to room 112, tell them Blanco sent you. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. We have Mitsubishi cassette unit and we're getting P5 on our um, control right now, so. Let's uh, let's open this up. Condensate pump on this unit is here. Um, so it's usually at one of the corners, but it's gonna be at the far one there. Here's where your refrigerant lines come in. So if you wanna kind of use that logo as, as a marker for to know that the pumps in here, it's a condensate pump that discharges. And if it's not discharging or if it's full with water, it's gonna give you the P5 error code. Nice place. So in here is where your pan is and where your pump is. I want to wait till the code get till the code throws again to P5 before I uh, do anything. Right, so I just got a P5 error code. So there's DC voltage here, so I don't recommend anybody trying this at home unless you go to the breaker and turn it off because you will, as it says, to outdoor unit. That's where you uh, pull the disconnect. Um, it's very easy to get electrocuted on these, so I don't recommend anybody doing it. But what I'm gonna do is drop this housing down so I can access the pump in here and see what's going on with the pan and all that. I'm gonna pull this entire housing down. There's a screw there, screw there, screw there, and one screw in there. So let me see what's going on. So if you know it's off on P5, we got line voltage here. So I'm gonna go pull the disconnect so I'm not dealing with any kind of voltage. Now your pump is right here and you can see all the water in there. So what I'm gonna do to drain the pan right now is open this with my bucket underneath it. And then I'm going to have to, so I know the pump's good, but I'm going to have to, well, we'll see if the pump's good. I guess it could be bad out of the box too, but let's see if we can get the water out and then go ahead and try to clear out that discharge line like a normal condensate pump to avoid that P5 error code. Second. Come on. Here. I'm gonna move this black right here. 
Um, there's nothing in here right now. Yep, that'll do it. Every time, buddy boy. Look at this. You want to know why? The discharge line's off. That's crazy, bro. Come on. Wow. This doesn't even look like it was uh, just sitting in water. That's why. Anyway, let me throw this discharge. I was going to flush it with the, the little 410 gas, but uh, vapor or whatever. But uh, I'm going to get this on and then re-zip tie it so it stays on. And I think they're going to be good to go. Here's a little float switch. So anyway... This, title, this video will be titled um, P5 Error Code Mitsubishi. Um, so there's an internal condensate pump, and if the float switch goes up, it's going to shut it down. So let me go get some things to, uh, to get that discharge line fastened again. I'm going to blast some pressure through that just to make sure. That that wasn't the issue in the first place when somebody replaced it. So I hooked up the discharge line and I took a vinyl hose here to, to ensure that this pump works. I put some water here. And let's see if this water comes out when I put this float switch up. Let me turn it on one second. I don't think this pump's working out. <laughs> Pump's not working. It'll float up. I have power to the pump, 208 volts. Plugged in right there to the pump at the board. Okay, let me see if I can reach this over here. This pump's not working. That's the bottom line. I tried pumping it with water. Even though the discharge line was off, the pump's not working either. So, let's see if the voltage stops right now. Let's do something. You're getting power to the pump. That's good. Here's your yellow wires that come from the pump. Or come from the board to the pump. But besides the discharge line being off, this pump does not function. It should be pumping water when I have my float up. Nothing happens. As you can see. Except for water coming out. Unbelievable. So this pump is bad. So like I said, that error code P5 or whatever it was before um, is going to be the error code for something with the condensate pump. If it's failed or if it's clogged or if the discharge lines off and it's spraying water through to, to kill the float switch. But um if I hold this float switch off long enough, it will uh, go off on error code too. So I'll do that here now. But um, let's, let me just put this guy back together. It's a 2014 unit Mitsubishi. So I'm holding this pump float switch up and it shut off and it went into P5 error code. So there you go mounted the electrical the fan covering and now I'm going to have to as I lift this put the wires in the proper spot so we don't crimp anything so that'll be all right these wires have to tuck in behind all of these clips so you don't break any of these 
beautiful manufactured China. Like I said, you can put all these back here like that. like that beautiful and then this has to come in this little reservoir if you will the intercoastal part through Mitsubishi and it's back together it'll work until the pan fills up but it won't overflow because it has the shut off which is good but uh it's like 65 this week if we could get the part in four or five days from Mitsubishi we'd be happy just got to open this up and I, I just still got to mount this, but we got to uh, open this up and break it down and pull it out and hook it up. I think it was changed last week or a couple of weeks ago, according to my notes. So with that being said, we will uh, have to get it under warranty. The unit's cooling now, but like I said, I don't know how, for how many days it's going to cool. It could be cool for a day. It's not that warm out, but we'll put it to 75. And uh, there's no code. So that P5 code is just usually condensate issue. Um, not discharging. In this case, discharge line was off, pump failed. Could have been a clogged line, but I flushed it with a little 410. Just a little, but enough to, uh, clear it but like I said it was off already anyway that wasn't the issue but it doesn't hurt while I'm up there but I'll be back I'm sure in a couple days to change that pump so yo guys I'm gonna take a walk to this Hudson River for a second I like it down here I used to live here as a kid in Tarrytown New York so it's nice when I get down here I mean I work down here a lot I just don't always work by the water it's just a river but Let's check it out. Lighthouse right there. When I was like in fourth grade, we went there on a field trip. It's pretty cool. We have the Hudson River. That's the Tappan Zee Bridge right here. That's the Tappan Zee Bridge and New Jersey. Well, you have Rockland County, New York there, but about five miles after that is New Jersey. And Manhattan is down there. I don't know if you could see it. You can see it. There's a skyline right there. Um, so you have Manhattan and New Jersey and as you get down you get like Newark New Jersey Jersey City but this is nice the Hudson River is cool they call that the Mario Cuomo bridge but or the, the Andrew no Mario Cuomo his father but I don't call it that I don't think many people do it's a tap and Z if you ask me forever and anybody from New York knows that but yeah it's cool nice day guys yo thank you for watching Please like and subscribe. A lot of construction going on in the United States. Hopefully it stays that way based on the economy. But uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate everything. And we put that, um, we ordered that, uh, that, that pump, the condensate pump for that Mitsubishi cassette unit. And that's it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Take care.